Hi students, welcome back to my channel Influence Mathematics. Today here I am with exercise 9.1 chapter 9. So listen very carefully. First question is express the following person from start from question number 5. Express the following person as fraction. Here it is given in person. We have to express this one in fraction. So what we will do? The number that is given, number we have written 31, 4 person divided by 100. Okay? Person is given, so person will change to divided by 100. If now we can cancel, then we will cancel it and write down the simplest form. And here we cannot cancel, so it will be this much only the answer. Okay, so here you see, same question, 2 into 37, it is 74, 74 plus 175 by 2. Done. Person is there, so denominator 100 will be there, so denominator 100. Done. Now we will cut 25 3 ja, 25 4 ja. Done. No more cancellation possible. Denominator, denominator, don't cancel. Okay. Numerator and denominator only. So in the numerator it is 3 and the denominator 2 4 ja, 8. So 3 by 8 is the answer. Number 6. Question number 6. Express the following person as ratios. We have to express this person as ratios. So 22 person, 22 by 100. Same process, okay? Same process for person by 100. 211 ja 22, 250 ja 100. How much we can cancel? That will cancel. Then we can write down the same thing in the fraction. Then the last step that it is the difference is 11 by 50. We'll write down 11 is to 50. That's it, okay? Next question, question number 7 here. Express the following person as decimal. We have to convert it in decimal. So while converting in decimal, first step is same. 7 for person by 100. The second step that is cancellation. That we will not do here. Cancellation don't do. Okay. How many zero is there? Two zeros are there. So before two digit decimal is here. Can, we, can you see any decimal here? No. So decimal is at the last. If, it, if decimal is visible, then from there we will move backward. Since no decimal... We cannot see any decimal, that means decimal is at the last. So from here we will move backward two digits. So two zero, two digits, one digit seven, another digit not there. So we will put one zero, then before that one decimal, then before that nothing is there, so one zero. Okay, like that 24.3 percent, 24.3 by 100. Now two zero, decimal will jump backward two times, before four, before two. So 0 0.24 clear now we will do question number eight question number eight here students question number eight express the following fraction as person we have to express the following fraction as person per before person was given we have expressed in fraction now fraction is given we have to express in person so when fraction is given or decimal is given and we have to convert it in person that we have to multiply in the numerator by 100. Okay. Multiply numerator by 100 person. Done. So, 1010 zero, one zero cancel. 2, 5, ja, 10. 17, 17 into 5, 85 person. Clear. Like that. 17 by 200 is there. 17 by 200 into 100 person in the numerator. 2, zero, two zero cancel. 17 divided by 2. It is 8.5 person. Done. Like that. So, question number 9, you see, express the following decimals as person. Express the following decimals as person. So, 0 0.21 is there. As I said you, we will just multiply 100 person when we have to convert in person. Okay. So, 20 is there since it's multiplied. Decimal will jump forward. One digit, two digit. So, it is 21 after the decimal person. Done. Like that 1.32 is there, we will multiply by 100 and person. So, 2.0, will jump, decimal will jump forward 2 times, 1 digit, 2 digit. So, 1.32 decimal person. Clear? Now, we will see question number 10. Question number 10, students, express the following ratios as person. It is given in ratio and we have to convert in person. So, 1 is to 2 is given, so we can write 1 is to 2 as 1 into 1 by 2. 1 by 2. So, person we have to convert in the numerator, we will multiply by 
hundred percent. When we have to convert to percent, that time in the numerator multiply hundred percent, and when percent will be given, and we have to convert in decimal or we have to convert in fraction, that time we have to write divided by hundred in the denominator hundred. Okay, so now two fifty is a hundred, so fifty percent. Then like that here nine is to twenty five, that means nine by twenty five in the numerator hundred percent. Twenty five four is a hundred. Nine four is a 36%. Clear? Let's see the next exercise. Here, find the value of 70% of 500. 70% of 500. 70% means by 100. Off means into 500. 2 0, 2 0 cancel. 70, 7 5 is 35. 1 0 is there, so 350 is our answer okay next question let us see three and half percent two three is six plus one seven by two mixed fraction is there convert it in proper fraction okay two three is six plus one seven by two person is there so in the denominator hundred off means into and 1600 that will be in the numerator okay two zero two zero cancel two eight just sixteen seven eight just fifty six is our answer clear Let's see the next question. Question number two. Same only same type. Find the value itself. Fifteen point five percent. Fifteen point five percent means by hundred. Off means into rupees three thousand. Rupees three thousand. Two zero two zero. Cancel. Thirty into fifteen point five. Three five ja fifteen. K and one. Three five ja fifteen plus one sixteen. K and one. Three one ja three plus one four. One zero is there. Zero. After this decimal one digit, before one, dig one digit, decimal placing, so gone. This is rupees 465 is our answer. I hope it is clear. Let us do the, let us do the next question here. 75% of 2 kg. See, 75% of 2 kg. 75% means by 100, off means into 2 kg. 2 kg I can convert in gram, okay? Because if 2 then... We cannot cut these zeros, right? So kg I can convert to gram. So I will multiply by 1000. It will become gram. So 2020 two cancel. So 75 2 ja 150. 150 10 ja 1500 gram. Clear? What percent of 32 is 80? What percent of 32 is 80? Percent is not given here, right? As you can see here, what percent? They are asking this one, okay? They are asking this one. 75% of 2 kg is 1500 gram. Now, like that, what percent of 32 is 80? Let the person be X. Let the person be person be X. Okay, so X person of 32 is 80. X person of 32 is 80. So X person means by 100, off means into 32 is means equal to 80. X keep it here. 80 is there. 100 will go up and 32 will come down. Done. 8, 10, 80. 8, 4, 32. 4, 25, 100. 25 into 10, 250 is our answer. Clear? Let's see. One more. See? Mixed fraction is there. Same question. So let the person be X. Let the person be X. Okay, now X person of 3.5 kg is 25 kg. Done. Now, X person means by 100, off means into 2, 3, just 6 plus 1, 7 by 2 kg is means equal to 25 kg. Kg, kg, cancel. Cancel. Now, X keep it here. 25 is there. From the numerator, from the, the denominator, we all go in the numerator, 100 and 2, both will go, and this 7 will come in the denominator. Done? Now, uh, can we cut anything? No, we cannot cut anything. 25, 2 is 50, 50 into 100, 5000, x equal to 5000 by 7, 5000 by 7. Done? So, that is our answer. Okay? Let's see here, question number 4. Find the number whose 24% is 30. 
let the number be x. Let the number be x. Number b x. So 24% of x. Find the number whose 24% is. Whose 24. So 24% of x is 30. Done. So 24% means by 100. Of means into x is means equal to 30. x keep it here. 30. 100 will go up. And 24 will come down. 3 10 30. 3 8 24. 4 2 8. 4 25 50. 4 25 100. 2 5 10. So x is equal to 5 into 25. 125. Clear. 15% is 33. Let the number be x. Let the number be x. So 15% person means by 100 or you can write down also properly 15 percent of x is 33 then you go for the next step that is 15 percent means by 100 of means into x it is equal to 33 x is equal to 33 100 will go up and 15 will come down 3 5 ja 15 3 11 ja 33 5 20 ja 100 so 11 into 20 200 and 20. Clear? Now, that's all from the exercise 9.2. Okay? How much here we are going on teaching? That much only you have to practice. The topics, whichever we are teaching you, that much only you have to practice. Within that one is, is, that one is going to be the syllabus of that chapter. So, nothing is there to panic. If anything is, we are not giving in the videos, then nothing is there to panic. Okay? So, now let us move to exercise 9.3. 9.3 here you see here we are going to talk about profit and loss gain and loss okay gain when it happens when our selling price is greater than the cost price if we are buying something at 50 rupees and selling that one at 70 rupees that means we are in a profit 20 rupees but if we are buying at 50 rupees and selling it at 30 rupees that means selling price is less here that time we are in loss so whenever selling price is greater that time it is profit and whenever selling price is less that means cost price is greater that time we are in loss okay so find the gain telling so find the gain telling means as soon as gain that means sp is greater selling price is greater sp means selling price so sp is greater sp minus cp whichever is greater that minus the other one okay so gain means sp is greater sp rupees 510 and CP means rupees 450. So 510 minus 450, it is 60 rupees. That's it. Now next question you see, question number 2. Find the SP when CP is 500 and profit is 40. Now buying at 500 rupees and profit is 40, that means selling price is more. Right? Selling price is more. Cost price is 500. Bought at 500. Sold at what price? that I got a profit 40 rupees. Profit 40 rupees. That means selling price is more. Right? So selling price when you are finding out in case of profit, that time CP plus profit. If it is loss, then CP minus loss. Okay? So CP plus profit will give SP. CP minus loss also will give SP. If it is loss, then minus loss. If it is profit, then plus profit. Okay? For SP. For finding out SP. So CP it is rupees 500. And profit it is rupees 40. So 500 plus 40 it is rupees 540. Clear? Now let us see how to find CP when we are in profit. When we are in profit, as I told you in the previous question, when we are in a profit, that time SP we are adding. Right? SP is equal to CP plus profit. Right? But when we are again, when we are in profit itself, then to find out CP. That means CP will be less. SP is greater. Now, profit means CP is less. So, finding out CP, SP minus profit. SP minus profit. And if it is loss, then plus loss. Just the reverse. Okay. In, 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 in case of finding out SP, we are adding the profit and subtracting the loss. In case of finding out CP, we are subtracting the profit and adding the loss. So, SP here, it is rupees 400. And profit here it is rupees 70. So 400 minus 70 is rupees 330. You can do the subtraction in the rough and then you can write down. 
400 minus 70 it is 330 so buying at 330 selling at 400 so getting a profit of 70 rupees okay now next question we will talk about loss find the loss so loss what i said you when cp is greater that time it is loss cost price now when i'm buying at more price and selling at less price that time it is loss so here if we have to find out loss then cp should be greater let us see yeah cp is greater see 330 is the cp and sp is 270 so cp is greater so loss equal to cp minus sp cp minus sp when we are finding out profit or gain same thing different name so gain is sp minus cp but loss is cp minus sp because in case of loss cp will be greater so cp is rupees 330 and minus sp it is 270 330 minus 270 is rupees 60 clear now the same thing as i told you before how to find sp sp is equal to when we have done in case of profit that time we have added the profit with cp right but here it is loss so we will subtract the loss okay before i can show you see when we have when it was profit that time we have added the profit with cp but here when it is loss when it is loss that time we are subtracting the loss from cp right so cp it is rupees 350 minus loss it is rupees 50 so 350 minus 50 is rupees 300 is our sp so that means sp was less than cp that's why only it was loss okay it should be very clear now you see question number six find the cp when sp is 800 and loss is 50 then we have to find out the cp it is loss that means cp will be greater right when cp is greater we will add okay so sp plus loss in case of profit when it was profit what we have done we have subtracted you see we have subtracted question number three we have subtracted the profit from sp right but here we are adding the loss we are adding the loss to find out cp because it is loss that means i have bought i have bought at more price than i have sold it so i have to add the loss sp it is rupees 800 and loss is rupees 50 so 800 plus 50 is rupees 850 done now question number seven nothing new it is same they are telling find the gain or loss we have to see which one is greater cp is greater or sp is greater then only we can say it is gain or loss cp is 160 sp is 180 oh okay sp is greater if sp is greater that means selling price is greater selling price is greater that means it is gain we are in profit so gain equal to sp minus cp sp is equal to rupees 180 and cp is rupees 160 so 180 minus 160 is rupees 20 done next question you see in the same question number two cp is 400 and sp is rupees 370 cp is 400 and sp is 370 that means here cp is greater cost price is greater cost price greater means we are in loss we are in loss so loss means cp minus sp cp minus sp cp is rupees 400 and sp is rupees 370 so rupees 400 minus 370 is rupees 30 okay that's all from the chapter 9 okay 9.1 9.2 9.3 9.4 no need and from 9.2 and 9.3 how much i taught you in this video that much only is the syllabus for the third terminal examination in the next video one more video i'll be coming out with chapter 16 so uh, that will be very much important for the syllabus so chapter 16 will be the last video that will be coming out within some few days thank you have a nice day take care be at home stay safe it's nirmal roy signing off